What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Red Thorns Gaming. It's that time of the week again. It's Friday. Happy, happy Friday. Lineage 2 Revolution in front of you right now. Fortress Siege, number 4-0. That's number 40 in the series. Coming on up. Now, there was only one real fight. Hey, I'm happy for it. Found out that the No Mercy versus whoever they're fighting turned out to be not a real fight, despite the fact that No Mercy is no longer part of the TSA. They apparently had some kind of drug deal with the TSA, and that drug deal is being honored. Hooray for honoring drug deals. Thumbs up for that. Today we have Korean Legacy versus Impact. Now, from my understanding, the ranking system is still messed up. Looking at the two that are going at it, number 10 and 11, Impact and Korean Legacy, checking out their particular individuals, Korean Legacy's got a lot of high, mid to high 4 millions and low to mid 5 millions in their clan right now, as you can see as I'm scrolling through this. They are definitely ready. There's one low, there's a couple low. Oh, there's a, there's a sub 4 million. What? Good for him. And we continue scrolling through them. And that's Korean Legacy's people. Now, Impact's people. Mid to high, four millions. There's a 5.1. Not many fives. There's a 5.3, 5, 5.4 5 and a half. They're all over the place. But I would definitely say that Korean Legacy has more combat power in totality for their clan than Impact does. Of course, we know combat power doesn't mean anything. And 100 buff just went off. But there are your individual stats, for or individual combat power stats, I should say, for each clan. We've got about six minutes before we can... Uh, before this battle begins, I'd like to do a shout out to everyone on the East Coast. Why not? Shout out to everyone on the East Coast. Y'all are doing great things for your country. Let's see if they'll allow us in. That's the one fight. That's the one that turned out to be not a real battle. They were honoring the whole let's give up our A grade fortress to the TSA and Tiny Earth paid 272 million for it. Here's the other A grade. Korean Legacy versus Impact, 25,420,069 Adena for the right to challenge Korean Legacy for this A-grade fortress. Let's head in. Shout out to Zulek being the first person on the screen. I'm sure he'll like that. All right, I will be back at a minute and a half as people are filtering in still, so I will see you then. And I'm back with 90 seconds before we begin. People are still filtering in. I have not seen Korean Legacy's leader come in yet. Korean Legacy in the blue. On the top, the Defenders. Still waiting on their leader. We'll give them a few seconds here. All right, there is their leader, Yaros, or Jaros, however you want to say it. Good luck to Korean Legacy. Let's head on down to Impact. Impact in the red. On the bottom, the attackers, the ones we will be following. There is their leader. I think that's Grish. Grish is their leader. Battle will start soon. Ten seconds before we begin. Five seconds before we begin. And here we go. Fort Siege number 40. Impact versus Free and Legacy. No impact was able to get to. The non-spawn gate defense towers. Korean Legacy, two seconds, one second, 10% buff for the next three minutes. Impact is trying, but being interrupted. Been 
That goes one of the defense towers of the non-spawn gate of impact, and there goes one of the d defense towers of the non-spawn gate of Korean Legacy. But Korean Legacy is now getting impacts alter. Three seconds, two seconds, one second, 30% buff for the next two minutes in five seconds. And that defense tower is gone. Defense tower has been destroyed. The red team's gate has been destroyed. The red team's defense tower has been destroyed. The non spawn gate of Korean Legacy was also taken down. Korean Legacy trying to push their way in. Not looking too good for impact right now. There goes the Holy Artifact Defense Tower number one of impact. Korean Legacy already getting some Holy Artifact imprint time. And we are only two minutes and six seconds into this fight. There goes the other Holy Artifact Defense Tower of impact. Impact trying to get some Holy Artifact imprint time. A lot of blue up there. In their own base. And a lot of red here. Doing a good job of pushing back Korean Legacy. The red team's defense tower has been destroyed. There goes one of the defense towers of the spawn gate of impact. Five seconds remaining in Korean Legacy 30% buff. And they are down to 10% now. There goes a Holy Artifact Defense Tower of Korean Legacy. Grish stopped in his or her tracks. Korean Legacy having some trouble getting their own altar imprints and have 12 seconds remaining on Impact's altar. Korean Legacy, two seconds, one second, 10% buff for the next three minutes. The altar of wind has been reset. Just in time to come on down here to Impact's altar and stop them. And they have done so. And there goes the final Holy Artifact Defense Tower of Korean Legacy. Just from what I've seen, Impact are definitely the underdogs in this fight. They are doing a good job. They managed to hold off Korean Legacy for a couple of minutes during KL's 30% buff. The red team has started imprinting the Holy Artifact. The red team has failed to imprint the Holy Artifact. Two seconds, one second, 30% buff for the next one minute, 45 seconds. So Korean Legacy a little bit longer that time around. This defense tower is gone. 
And there goes the spawn gate of impact. Green Legacy. Looks like they're trying to do a little open siege here. Holding impact at their spawn area. Green Legacy with a commanding kill death lead right now. They are almost at 600 kills and only 174 deaths. Jaro's trying to win this fight. 10 seconds before they win the snow. Stopped at 9 seconds. Impact managed to get out of their spawn area and stop Korean Legacy from winning this fight. Missing Link just took a meteor shower to the head. Korean Legacy, two seconds, one second, 30% buff in the next 55 seconds. We'll look at the dots for a few seconds here. Less than 22 minutes remaining in this battle. Props to Grish for being able to get into Korean Legacy's base and to their holy artifact to try to play catch up. Korean Legacy interrupted on Impact's altar. It doesn't look like Impact is able to get... Or, there goes... Who was that? Batlin? Batlin? See some more red dots coming in. I don't think Impact has gotten an Alter Imprint yet. But they're doing a good job of interrupting Korean Legacy, that's for sure. More or less. The red team has started imprinting the Holy Artifact. The red team has failed to imprint the Holy Artifact. The red team has started imprinting the holy artifact. The red team has failed to imprint the holy artifact. Oh, what is that about? The holy artifact. The red team has failed to imprint the Green Legacy the failing to get the Impact's altar imprint with the only 20 seconds remaining in their 10% buff. The They're over halfway on impacts. Three, two seconds. Once, oh, interrupted with about a second left. Good interruption there by impact. And they're trying for both right now. Interrupted on impact. Still going on their own. 
The red team has failed to imprint the three seconds artifact. interrupted. Interrupted on impacts with another about a second left. Korean Legacy interrupted on their own. And Korean Legacy two seconds interrupted on it. Impacts. That's got to be frustrating. That's good defense by Impact right now. Korean Legacy interrupted on their own. Over halfway on Impacts. Two seconds. Once interrupted on impacts. Impact was trying to go for Korean Legacies, but they were interrupted. Korean Legacies trying to go for both again. Interrupted on their own. Over halfway in impacts. Three seconds. Two seconds. One second. Ten percent buff for the next three minutes on impacts. Alter imprint. They have three seconds. Two seconds. Impact. Six seconds for winning. Wow, they got it down to six seconds. The red team has started imprinting the holy artifact. The red team has failed to imprint the holy artifact. Grish doing his darnest to catch up to Korean Legacies. Time. Who knows how close he got, he or she. They. It. Blue is up here in force now, wasting their 30% buff. They got a little, I'm sure they got a little scared there when they got it down to six seconds. And by the way, Korean Legacy is part of the Kings of Starus Alliance. And Impact, I believe, are independent right now. If any of this information has changed, let me know in the comments below. Nine, eight, Korean Legacy, six seconds for winning this battle. Four, three, two, two seconds. And congratulations to Korean Legacy for successfully defending their A Great Fortress. Congratulations to Yaros, or Jaros, however you want to say it, for taking the number one spot. Korean Legacy took the first ten, first nine. Here are your stats. Great fight. Impact did pretty well, considering how far behind in combat power they must have been. So it was Batman. And there are your stats, ladies and gentlemen. Let's see. Yep, I guess that drug deal actually was honored. Congratulations to Korean Legacy, the only real fight. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this video, and come hang out with me on Discord or Facebook. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you again.